Hello, and welcome to Star Trek Trivia. I'm your host, Rich Evans, and today we join Mike and Jay for their very first ever Star Trek Trivia Showdown. <laughs> Hi, Rich. It's great to be here. It's nice to have you too, Jay. Yes, and I'm very excited about this opportunity. I can tell you are. You certainly came dressed for the part. What? Well, 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 this isn't just fun and games. We're also playing for charity. That's right. Before the show, Mike and Jay have each chosen a charity to play for. And with each correct question, we're going to donate $1,000 to that charity. <laughs> Jay, what charity are you playing for today? Well, Rich, my charity is called Angel's Wings, and it helps single homeless mothers find safe and affordable housing. It also supplies them with support, both food and medicine, for them and their children, as well as job training courses and child care to help the mother get back on her feet. Wow, what a noble cause. And Mike, what charity are you playing for today? Well, Rich, today I'm playing for SaveTheDodo.org. The, the dodo? Aren't, aren't they already extinct? <laughs> Absolutely they are, Rich. However, at SaveTheDodo.org, they're making extensive progress in replicating the DNA of this extinct bird in order to create a viable embryo to hopefully repopulate this extinct species. Now, some people have called this organization a scam and the work isn't being done by actual scientists, but I have faith in this organization and their mission. Uh, uh, okay, uh, 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 let's start round one, to boldly go, where you each take turns answering a difficult Star Trek question. Are you ready to go? I'm ready, Rich. Absolutely, Rich. All right. Okay, Mike, you won the toss earlier, so you get the first question. I'm ready, Rich. What was the name of Data's android daughter? That would be Lol. Correct! Yes, I'm winning. Jay. In the original series, who designed the computers on board the Enterprise? Pike? Dr. Richard Daystrom. I'm sorry. Mike! Yeah? What was the clue that Data sent himself to break out of the temporal loop in the Typhon Expanse? That would be the number three. Correct! <laughs> Jay. Yeah? How do Borg ships travel vast distances? In their cube. No! <laughs> they use transwarp conduits. I've seen their cube, it's in space. They travel through with their cube. I think you should ask the judges. He, he, the, they do travel vast distances in their cube. Judges? Oh, they said no. And they said no. Mike. Yeah. What is the Betazoid word that means beloved? Well. Of course, that's Imzadi. Correct. <laughs> Jay. Yeah. Who was responsible for the crystalline entity's attack on Omicron Theta Colony World? <laughs> Could you repeat the question? Yes. Who was responsible for the crystalline entity's attack on the Omicron Theta Colony World? I have no idea. Lord, Jay, I'm uh, sorry. Incorrect. Uh, I almost had that one. You'll get the next one. I'll get the next one. You'll get the next one. Mike. Yeah. What are the standard issue personal punishment devices equipped on board the ISS Enterprise? Oh, boy. The agonizers? Correct! Yes. I know that's those booths. But yeah, there. Uh, I was thinking Is it of my the, turn? Yes, Jay. Question? Okay. Okay. Who was the Dax host immediately prior to Jadzia? Kirk. C incorrect. You almost said correct. He was. It was close. He was close, Rich, because I, of course, know this answer too. Oh, oh. It's Curzon Dax. Everybody knows that. That's, see, that's what I was going to say, but you interrupted me before I finished. I just got the first part out. I'm sorry, and Jay. You, said, you, you clearly said Kirk. The answer was wrong. It is, it is quite shocking, on. though. He he had the first like syllable, though. 
I, he was on his way. I, I, for a second, I thought he was going to get it. I, I know. It was shocking. <laughs> it was, I thought it was going to be amazing for a second there, but then he just fell right on his face. <laughs> Jay, I'm full of surprises. <laughs> Jay, you personally are going to be the man responsible for bringing back the dodo bird. <laughs> <laughs> and I will be personally responsible for the suffering of thousands of women and children. Now, let's not get ahead of ourselves yet, Mike. Right. Because you need to tell me what historical inventor did Janeway often visit in the holodeck? That would be Leonardo da Vinci. Correct! Jay, what race did the traitorous Sesca belong to on Voyager? You can do it, Jay. You just have to guess a race. <laughs> Klingon. Incorrect. She was a Cardassian. Okay, Mike. Yeah. What popular comedian played the emergency medical hologram Mark II? Well, that would be Andy Dick. Correct! <laughs> oh, almost, almost tripped you up on that one, but you got it right. Jay, which Deep Space Nine crew member was recruited for Section 31. Deep Space Nine? Yes. Damn, these questions are easy, Rich. I was gonna say they're very difficult. These are difficult questions for me to answer. These are the beginner questions. Is it gonna get harder? Yeah, yeah I would yeah, imagine. I, I, I've known every single one of these. Yeah. Deep Space Nine. Is that the one with Scott Bakula? No. Is that your answer? <laughs> no, I, I just want to make sure I know which show we're talking about here. Deep Space Nine. Which Deep one? Deep Space Nine is the one that takes place aboard Deep Space Nine. <laughs> it's the show called Deep Space Nine. That's what show it is. Can I phone a friend? You'd like to use your phone a friend now? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Hello? Uh, Mike, I have a Deep Space Nine question for you. Well, I'm on a game show now. I, I know, I am too. That's why I'm asking the question. Oh, oh, Jay Bauman. Sorry, I got a few friends named Jay. What's up? What's what's the question? What's what's the question? Oh, yes. Uh, which Deep Space Nine crew member was recruited for Section 31? Which Deep Space Nine crew member mm -hmm. was recruited for Section 31? Uh, Benjamin Sisko. Okay, thank you. Uh, Benjamin Sisko. Wrong, Jay, I'm sorry. It was, it was Dr. Dr. Bashir. Dr. Julian Bashir. <laughs> you think I'm that stupid? Okay, Mike. Yeah. Which punk rock legend guest starred as Yelgrun in The Magnificent Ferengi? I know this one, can I answer? No, it's not your turn, Jay. I actually know this one. Mike, uh, Mike, would you like to answer your question? Do I have the option of passing it to Jay out of charity? You know what? You can do that if you want. All right. Jay? Iggy Pop. Correct! Yes! Jay got one. He got one! He <laughs> got one! Can all the questions be about Iggy Pop? All right! Okay, Jay. Yeah. What is the purpose of the Klingon death ritual? Iggy Pop. Incorrect. Now get ready for round two, Warp Speed, where our contestants have to buzz in to get the correct answer first. Now, just a friendly reminder, if at the end of the show your score goes into the negative, your charity will owe us the money. Uh, who's ready for round two? Yeah. Okay, contestants, get set to buzz in. I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, what was the entity that displaced Voyager into the Delta, Mike? The caretaker. Correct. What crew member went insane in the alternate future of Endgame? Mike. Uh, Tuvok. Correct. What is the name of the energy weapon commonly used by the Romulan Star Empire? Mike. D Disruptor. Correct. What instrument does Data play? Mike. The violin. Correct. What is the acronym for the computer operating system used aboard Mike. Elcars? Correct. 
How do you know all this? What dangerous power do the Telosians possess? J. Spock, incorrect. What weapons did the Ferengi use in their first appearance? That Mike, Laser whips. Correct. What was the main commerce area of Deep Space Nine? Co Mike. The promenade. Correct. What literary character did Dr. McCoy first see on the shore leave planet? Mike. Uh, the bunny from Alice in Wonderland. Correct. Oh, I knew that one. I used a bit from that in a Best of the Worst episode. That's, we showed a clip from it. That's actually why I put that in there. I'm very disappointed in you. The bunny from Alice in Wonderland. It's too late. What is the name of the Cardassian? Yes. The Obsidian Order. Correct. Who was Jake's best friend on Deep Space Nine? Correct. Mag. Who on Deep Space Nine calls themselves just a plain, simple tip? Correct. Garrett. <laughs> What nickname does the Ferengi bartender Quark call his mother? Correct! According to Klingons, Mookie. where do the- <laughs> Nuki? <laughs> Mookie. Oh, Mookie. According to Klingons, where do the honored dead go after they die? Stovokor. Correct! Which of the Enterprise D's crew was able to perform a Vulcan nerve pinch correctly? For for Spock! I'm sorry, incorrect. It was Data. That's his whole thing! Enterprise D crew. I don't know what the fuck that means. Okay, what was Deep Space Nine called before the Federa- Mike. Terak Nor. Correct! What was the name of the Federation ship crewed by Starfleet Academy cadets? Mike. Uh, the Valiant. Correct! Okay, Jay. It's both He's, of you, but okay, you, you, Jay. Why you are think, you favoring me? Do you think he might be able to get it? I think he might be able to get this one. Okay. okay, what I'm gonna but do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand a few feet back from the But, okay. but you okay. still won for it if you know the answer. Okay. Who was the Academy Award winning actress who played Guinan? Jay! Wh Whoopi Goldberg! Correct! Yes! Correct! Correct! Yes! 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 He did it, everybody! Woo! He did it! I'm back on the board! What infamously made Tom Paris and Captain Janeway devolve into salamanders? Jay! A disease. Wrong. <laughs> It was achieving warp 10. In his manor on Gothos, where was the mechanical source of Traylene's powers located? Jay. In the basement. False. It was behind the mirror. Behind the mirror. False. Incorrect. I'm sorry. You ruined everything. In the mirror universe, what position did Kira hold? Jay. Missionary. False. It was intended. What did the Equinox crew do to their emergency medical hologram? Mike. Uh, they they repro they took out his his ethical subroutines. Correct. So he's evil. If you over elaborated. We would have accepted just made him bad. Ethical. Made him. They, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. What is Tasha Yar's sister's name? Mike. Ishara Yar. Correct. Who is the social worker that Kirk fell in love with? when he was stranded in the 1940s. Mike. Uh, Edith something. Incorrect. I mean, correct, but you can't give us the last fucking name? Jesus Christ. Edith, uh, I mean, come on. Can I get, can I get half a thousand you, you bucks? Get, you get 500 bucks. All right. You get 500 bucks, Edith Keeler. Okay. okay. Edith Keeler. Uh, that shouldn't have counted. In the original series episode, The Man Trap, what substance did the- Mike. Salt! Correct! I know those salt monsters, right? Salt vampires. Salt vampires. Yeah, they have the I, if, yeah. I, if I wasn't so fast, you might have got it. You gotta be quicker, Jay. You gotta be- This you is be, lightning round! This is lightning round. Or warp, warp, warp speed round, All right, bitch. all right, all right. What did Worf call a warrior's drink? Mike! Prune juice! Correct! Prune juice. Warrior's drink. What is Chief Engineer Scott's first name? Mike. Montgomery. Correct. Did you know that? No. <laughs> what was Commander Riker's father's name? Jay. Riker Sr. In you know what? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to give him that. You, you only gave me half the points for Edith. <laughs> it's Kyle Riker. You fuck. Kyle Riker Sr. That's he, what I just, said. He just got it. Kyle, no. He now, clearly now just said it. Kyle Riker Sr., which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Who 
took over for Dr. Beverly Crusher as chief medical officer on the Enterprise during the second season. <laughs> Mike. Dr. Kate Pulaski. Correct. What Voyager crew member contacted Starfleet in the episode Message in a Bottle? Jay. The Gorn. Incorrect. What is traditional about Betazoid wedding ceremonies? Jay. Gene Roddenberry. Incorrect. Who was the self-aware holographic lounge singer from Dr. Bashir's Vegas program? Jay. Q. Incorrect. In the original series, what division do uniforms with blue tunics represent? Mike. Science and medical. Correct. In the original series episode, Metamorphosis, what 200-year-old pioneer of Earth spe- J. Science and medical. Incorrect. What advanced data processing circuitry did the USS Voyager boast, Mike? Uh, bio-neural gel packs. Correct! What was the name yeah. of Data's poem about his cat? J. Star Trek. Incorrect. Ode to Spock! Correct! <laughs> What is the name of Captain Kirk's brother who died during a parasite? J. Tom Paris. Incorrect. <laughs> Kirk? Kirk's brother? I'm sorry, Jay, the judges aren't going to give you that one. What was Anorax attempting to do by creating temporal incursions? Mike. Uh, resurrect his dead wife. Correct. What house did the Klingon sisters, Lursa and but Mike? Duras. Correct. What was the sister ship of the USS Enterprise that was locked interphased? J. Mrs. Enterprise. Incorrect. It, uh, interfaced what? You, which, what? Which series? What are you the talking? original series. Uh, the, uh, uh, was it not the Lexington? No, no, Incorrect. no. Incorrect. The Defiant. Yes, but you said Lexington first, Mike. You said Lexington first. first. Okay, fine. I was thinking of of the the big uh, corn chip in space. The, the doomsday, doomsday machine. Yeah, Mike. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Whatever. What was the name of the Starfleet engineer whose likeness Jordy began to fall in love with? Mike. Uh, Leah Brahms. Correct. After Mark Leonard portrayed the first Romulan commander encountered by the Enterprise, and later. Played what famous Mike? Spock's father, Sarek. Correct! According to tradition, who must assist in a Klingon's ritual suicide? Jay! Another Klingon. False. Incorrect. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what ship was Commander Riker serving on when he was involved with a transporter? Jay! The Enterprise. Incorrect. What was the name of Data's cat? Mike! I pass it to Jay, because I said it already. I said it earlier, his poem name. Oh, you know what? I buzzed too early. I was actually thinking of H.P. Lovecraft's cat's name. Was it Spot? No. <coughs> Who was Captain Proton's arch enemy? Uh... Jay! Captain Neutron. Incorrect. It was like, like the, uh, the, uh... The Ming the Merciless uh, char character. What, what was his name? That's yes. That is you correctly said what the question was. <laughs> <laughs> I forget they had a stupid. All those names are stupid in those in those episodes. Doctor Chaotica. Doctor Chaotica. See that? Oh, stupid. that is stupid. Yeah. yeah. What Klingon dish is best served? Jay. Revenge. Incorrect. Best served alive. Mike. Gah. Correct. Who did Data first tell where his off switch is located? Mike. Dr. Beverly Crusher. Correct. Aside from a starship tactic, the Picard maneuver also referred to what, Mike? Ca ca this, Captain Picard pulling a shirt down. Correct, yeah. you even got a visual demonstration. That's fantastic. I know. Fantastic. What was the last episode of the original series that aired? Turnabout Intruder. Correct! I know all good things. That's the last episode of TNG, right? That's right. I wish there was a question about that. What command was Riker offered just prior to the Borg attack at Wolf 359? Mike! Uh, the, uh... The Ares? No, no, no. The, the, the... Incorrect. No, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on a second. Uh, the, um... Give me the first letter. M. The Melbourne. Duh. 
Yeah, yeah, he totally knew that. <laughs> I did, though. You gave me the first letter. Of course I yes, know it. Yes, you knew that after I told you part of the answer. <laughs> a letter is, isn't that big of a clue. Of course I know. You know here. On Deep Space Nine, what did Kiko O'Brien establish at the station? Keiko O'Brien. And it's a school. Correct. What do the Bajorans call the stable warm home? Jay! Tribbles. Incorrect. What did Cisco leave as a message to Dukat? Jay! Those black and white aliens. Incorrect. It was his baseball. In Children of Time, who was the original Deep Space Nine crew? Jay! Han Solo. Incorrect. What did the emergency medical holographic program say whenever he was. Jay! What's up? Incorrect. <laughs> What was Captain Janeway's preferred beverage? Jay. Beer. Incorrect. Ugh. What did You couldn't Jane... guess coffee? You drink coffee. Come on. Was the captain of the starship going to drink beer? Jay. You coffee. In incorrect, because I had already asked that question. What did Janeway offer the Borg in exchange for passage? Jay. Coffee. Incorrect. <laughs> what was Seven of Nine's human name? J! Seven. Incorrect. Annika Hansen. According to the episode Little Green Men, who were the aliens discovered in Roswell in night? J! Little Green Men. Incorrect. These are hard. Ferengi. Specific Ferengi. Quarknog. Quarknog and Rom. Yes. Yeah, of course. What race of beings had ships that could create a web of energy that could trap other vessels? Jay. Spider-Man. Incorrect. <laughs> the Tholians. I, I heard web and it's not a What original series character said, live long and prosper? Jay. Spock. I'm sorry, we're out of time for the round. Oh, okay. Well, it's that time. It's time for the final frontier, where you both get to wager your score on one final question. Okay, this is going to determine who wins the game. You will each write down the answer to the final question and your final wager. Are you ready for I'm the ready, final Rich. question? I'm, I'm ready, ready, Rich. I'm ready. Okay. What legendary star of the Reanimator and the Frighteners played the character of Wei Yun on Deep Space Nine. All right. So we, we, we have to wait till the music's done, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, and Mike, what was your answer? Jeffrey Combs, that is correct. And your wager was? Oh, that's a very impressive score today, Mike. Thank you, Rich, thank you. Okay, Jay, what was your answer? Oh, Jeffrey Combs, you got it right! I knew this one, Rich. All right, Jay, how much did you wager? Rich, I wagered it all. You. you you, you wagered everything? I wagered my entire score. Jay, you doubled a negative score. Now, now your charity, Angel Wings, owes Universal Game Show Incorporated all of that money. I guess I'm getting a bonus. Well, congratulations, Mike. You've, you've saved the dodo. Now I'm gonna walk over here and talk to you while we go mute and the credits roll. <laughs> you did fantastic today. Thank you, thank you. Now, now, like, did you see his fucking score? I know. <laughs> it was, it was ridiculous. It's, it's negative so much money. Don't you scream these people?